Welcome to the Heuristic Lab video tutorial how to execute algorithms. In this tutorial I will show you how to create parameterize and start optimization algorithms in Heuristic Lab to solve different optimization problems. To create a new algorithm click on File New to open the New Item dialog and select one of the algorithms which are provided in Heuristic Lab. For example, a genetic algorithm. After the new algorithm instance has been created, you have to define the problem instance that should be solved. Therefore, click on the new problem button and choose one of the problem implementations, for example, a traveling salesman problem. In each traveling salesman problem instance, you either have to set the coordinates of the cities manually, or you can select a benchmark instance from the TSP lib. Additionally, you can also import a TSP instance given in the TSP lib file format. After choosing a benchmark instance, press the load button to update the problem parameters. In the parameters tab page of the problem, you can set all the parameter values such as the city coordinates, the best tour, the quality of the best tour, the evaluation operator, or the operator to create new solutions. Some parameters of the problem might be hidden for the sake of simplicity. If you want to unhide these parameters, click on the show parameter button above. Click on the button a second time to hide the parameters again. If the problem implementation provides a visualization, you can switch to the visualization tab, which in the case of the TSP shows the location of the cities and, if specified, the best tour. After you have defined the problem instance that you want to solve, you have to set the parameter values of the algorithm, which can be done on the parameters tab page. All parameters of the algorithm are listed on the left side, which are in this case, for example, the crossover operator, the mutation operator, the mutation probability, the number of generations, or the population size. To change a parameter, select it in the list and modify its value in the details box. For example, you can change the number of generations from 1000 to 5000. Some parameters, such as crossover, mutator, or selector, are operators for which several different implementations are provided in Heuristic Lab. For example, you can choose the inversion manipulator as the mutation operator. If you look for additional information on an implemented operator, double click on the information icon to open the description. Please note that operators might have parameters themselves, which allows additional configuration. After you have finished the parameterization of the problem of the algorithm, you are ready to start the algorithm by clicking on the play button below. Each algorithm in Heuristic Lab can be paused at any time, so if you want to give your CPU a break, click on the pause button to interrupt. If you want to, you can even save a paused algorithm to disk by clicking on File Save, and you can load and continue it later. As the algorithm is executed, the current results are displayed on the Results tab. You can inspect, for example, the number of evaluated solutions, the current best quality value, the best solution found so far, or the chart showing the best average and worst quality in each generation. After the algorithm has stopped, you have to click on the Reset Algorithm button below to prepare it for another run. If you do not want to wait until the algorithm terminates by itself, you can also stop its execution at any time by clicking the Stop button. Each time an algorithm is terminated, a run is added to the list of runs on the Runs tab page. A run is an object which contains all results and all parameter values of the algorithm. Therefore, you can execute multiple runs with different parameter settings one after another, and you can never forget one of the obtained results, which is especially useful for manual parameter tuning. In Heuristic Lab, each algorithm is represented as a graph of operators. This graph is shown on the next tab page, but we will not cover this topic in detail in this tutorial. If you want to know how to manipulate operator graphs to create custom algorithms, you might want to watch the video tutorial How to Create Custom Algorithms. On the last tab page, you can select the engine which executes the algorithm. Per default, the sequential engine is used, which does not utilize any parallelism. As the genetic algorithm implementation offers parallel evaluation of solutions, it might be useful in some cases to switch to the parallel engine, especially if solution evaluation is very runtime intensive. 
The parallel engine executes all parallel parts of an algorithm in multiple threads and therefore can speed up algorithm execution on multi-core machines. This concludes the Heuristic Lab video tutorial how to execute algorithms. I hope that you got an idea how to use optimization algorithms in Heuristic Lab to solve different optimization problems. Thanks for your attention, have fun, and may the global optimum be with you.